Hello everyone, welcome back to the adventure of King, the ex-Red Saber gang leader, uh, who is now on a quest to become the strongest swordsman in Kenshi in order to have his revenge and destroy the United Cities because they destroyed him. So when we last uh, left off, uh, King went on a huge training arc and we ended the episode by hunting down one of the most notorious Czech Kingdom bandits, Tara the Fearless, something like that. Between the episodes, I went back to her camp and decimated all of her followers, which was great training. As you can see, he is shredded now. Let me show you. Sure! Look at that! He has become very proficient with uh, a sword. He can still learn a lot more, but now I, I think he can stand his ground against the majority of people in Kenshi. But first, are you tired of worrying about your online privacy and security? Then it's time to take a look at today's sponsor, NordVPN. I personally worry about the safety of my personal data a lot these days, especially if I'm outside somewhere and connected from a cafe for example. My personal data would be really compromised if someone tries to steal it. And this is where NordVPN comes in. With NordVPN you can browse the internet safely and securely no matter where you are or what device you're using. NordVPN uses encryption and a strict no-logging policy that ensures that your data is always protected and your online activity remains private. But that's not all. NordVPN also gives you access to geo restricted content from around the world whether you want to stream your favorite TV shows or access websites that are blocked in your country. And with its lightning fast servers in over 60 countries, you'll never have to sacrifice speed for security. Plus, their 24-7 customer support is always there to help you with any questions or issues you may have. It also has many features to combat online threats such as malware, phishing attempts, ransomware, and more. So what are you waiting for? Try NordVPN today and take control of your online experience. They currently have a birthday deal celebrating NordVPN's 11th anniversary, offering a lot of bonuses. Visit nordvpn.com slash simo or click in the description below to learn more and get started with a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee thank you nordvpn for sponsoring this video so in this episode i think our revenge against the united cities is going to begin we'll be traveling south which is uh, most likely where the orders to destroy our gang came from uh, and we'll be wreaking havoc over there but before that we have a side objective we're gonna go to the world's end and try to acquire some really good gear because this leather <laughs> duster or vest or whatever can only go so long. Patchwork armor shop? Okay, let's go check that out. All right, here it is. Patchwork armor shop. I've never seen this in Kenshi before. Good to see you again. I've never met you in my life. Yo, what is all this? Sheesh. It's actually good for uh, gas and dust storms. I'll buy that. That could be really useful when we're fighting in a dust storm or something like that. What do we have here? Daniel. Not Daniel, by the way. Daniel. A drifter with a bigger backpack than mine. And potentially a better katana? But I'm not very sure. But that backpack do be looking pretty nice. I need me some practice anyway. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Nice. Nice. King do be comboing for real, for real. I did get hit in the head, but it doesn't matter. All right, let's check him out. I can now fit in the half mask in my backpack. Very nice. All right, all right. Is that a better katana than mine? No. You can keep that bandage. I have enough. Here, I'll even first aid you myself so you that, that you don't die. Actually, if I'm going to use that, give me that bandage. Oh, yeah. Number one med in town. <laughs> Stop getting up. He just... He's just gone. <laughs> All right, well, see you, Daniel. <laughs> well, he knows. He knows he can't beat me. Dude, look at this. Some ninjas are raiding a holy farm village. I may might be able to stock up on uh, on food here. Yeah, the floatsome ninjas one. My goodness. All right, well, let me go grab some meat real quick. Oof, that's hot. I'm going to take all the meat that I can because it's actually going to be really good... Uh, strength training because i'm gonna be over encumbered that's not yours who's that are you gonna stop me thief who are you calling a thief research artifact i'll take that those nerds at the world's end will love that thank you for the generous donation i'll see you later alarm raised yeah come here come here you want to go no come back come on 
Let's go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, we'll let the ninjas... They'll, they'll probably clean up. It appears that the ninjas didn't really clean up that well. Because now the holy nation really hates me. <laughs> I'm at minus 32. It is what it is. Man, they don't call it the world's end for nothing. I have been running for so long. This is reminding me of that whole arc in Dragon Ball Z. Goku has to run... I don't remember which planet that is to, re to learn from some guy. And this, it's just this long road that he has to run through and it's like several episodes it's an entire arc that's what's going on right now with king oh finally finally world's end hey you come drink with me ah oh, hobbs oh, i'm sorry homie i'm not looking to take in any uh any drunkards hey, i will be re recruiting some people but trust me you're not the kind Nice, 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 nice. Again, I don't think that I'm gonna find anything that I'm gonna like more than this ring saber, but let's see. I guess we're sticking with our weapon for now. Let's check uh, armor. I doubted that I would find anything better than this ring saber. And if there is any, like, OP weapon out there, we're probably gonna mug it off of someone anyway. Not gonna lie, this looks pretty nice. There's a cape here. What's that look like? Oh, <laughs> Do we wear this? We could wear this and, and like just use it for our travel. Yeah, we, we look like we're ready to uh, travel. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, it seems like our work here in the world's end is done. Now let's make the very long journey all the way down here. Oh my God. I might have already run into something pretty interesting. Yorix with a bounty of 10,000 cats from the Dianium Thieves might have some really interesting things on him. Come here. Ooh. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. King sees right through those combos. Oh, it's a, it's a pre... Pre equal match. Well, not really, but... Guy's holding his ground. No, never mind. What is this? Rotten food? Eternal. D oh my god. I'm so lucky I didn't buy anything. What is this? Starting damage of 1.33, which is almost as much as my my saber, and another 1.33 blunt damage. What? What? This weapon has been forged by the material coil called Dianium. A rare quality metal, the grip has the letter K engraved on it. K for king! Oh my god, is this gonna become my signature weapon? How do I look with it? We found our signature weapon, boys. K for the king. Also, this armor is huge. You saw, like, we got hit by that crazy weapon and didn't, like, lose that much HP from it. Discovered a ruin all the way down there. And if I press it, it's called... The armor king? Do I have to swim? No, no, no. I'm gonna have to swim there. <laughs> all right, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to swim all the way up there with this speed. Can you believe it? The things I do for you guys. I absolutely hate my life right now. It has taken me so long to actually swim all the way up here. All right, here we are. Wait, these things... These things have sunken anyway. Kinda scared me, not gonna lie. Hello. Mm, the thralls have a hundred attack. Yeah, let's be respectful here. Armor King, Armor King, saving lives with armoring. <laughs> Welcome, customer. Would you like to buy the best armor in the world? How do you come to set up shop here? I started up this shop in the second em uh, empire town of Catch. It was a thriving market town, growing very strongly. A great place to start anew and craft the greatest armors in the remnants of the world. How long ago was that? 937 years ago? Oh my god. Everything is specialist grade. Uh, wow. Dude, Buster Lance. What the hell? This is insane. That does almost two, da two points of damage. Oh my god. What are these weapons? Claymore that does... Oh my god. That does almost... 2.5 damage. Ah! Specialist grade arachne leggings. Mountain running leg plates. 61 and 81% resistance. What the? Dude. Nah, that's too big. It's too big for me, to be honest. Oh my god. 
protects the head 70% for like 56% cut resistance. Ashlander Storm Goggles Belt. Yo! Okay, that looks cool. I'm keeping that. What do the Arachne leggings look like? They weirdly fit the outfit that I have right now. And that's a lot of armor. Yeah, let's keep that. Imagine raiding his entire... Even though the thralls have no heads, they are good at spotting thievery. Oh, yes. I was about to say, imagine like robbing this place. He's an, He has an AI that like predicts people. So uh, let's just leave in one piece, all right? All right, I'm out of the water. Not gonna lie, I'm looking great. I am looking amazing. I took off my jacket because it's a little heavy and I just want to train my strength more. But goddamn, King is jacked. Look at the oh yo 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 yo. Oh my god, I'm being chased. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. We need to get out of here. Wait, how many? Wait, there's not a lot of them actually. Let's lure them away and try and fight. Ah, uh, they just got some reinforcements. I don't think I can re outrun them. Oh, I did. I did outrun them. The swamp, home. At least it was before the United Cities fucked everything up. But it's gonna be my turn to ruin their lives. Hold on a second. Are those ninjas? Ooh, alright. Let's get our weapon out. Beat him and loot him. Oh my god! Uh, it's so many. That is so many. I'm not against fighting, but wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then there's the 12th guy. Tell you what. Let's try to outrun them as like fast as possible. It's not happening. Pretty sure it's not happening. You know what? Let's do this. He did it. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> 140 damage what is all that about ah oh, it was my head that got me down yeah king you gotta wake up to witness this oh my god 140 damage yeah that weapon we picked up earlier was insane just had to get back up didn't i oh my god we took a headshot that's why we're we're down do we have any helmets yeah, this could be considered a helmet. Come on. Right, hide that. Let's do it. Boom! You. Come on, King. Come on, King! Let's do it! Let's go, King! <laughs> We're doing it! We're doing it! Oh, I'm down again. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man! If they don't leave, I'll get up and beat their asses again. Alright. And then my left arm. Alright, let's clean this up. Boom! What? What? Come on, man! I passed out again! Alright. Whatever. That was good training at least, alright? Good training. To keep King on his feet, you know? I'm so happy we found that weapon though. Holy! I'm so happy we found that weapon though. The sword on my back. What's it called again? Eternal Death. I'm gonna go into like the central Red Sabers. Their main HQ right here. The barracks. I'm just gonna pay my respects. Let them know. The King still lives. Ah, uh, hello friends. It is I, King. Where's the leader? I need to speak to him. Where is he? He usually hangs out here somewhere. Well, anyway, tell him that King stopped by. He's still alive. 
and he's going to avenge his boys. The town of Clown City. A city of clowns. Believe it or not, it's called the Clown City because they refer to peasants as clowns. Did you guys know that in the United Cities, it is actually illegal in the United Cities to be poor? They don't know me here, I don't think. So I can just mingle with them, study how their economy works, what the city's economy is based on, to further understand how to dismantle this place and deal a crushing blow to the city. I think their entire economy is based on slaves. I think there's like a slave farm somewhere here, so if we destroy that we can really cripple this city. And I think there is a slave, like, um, head of the, of the town, who, um, if we kidnap her, I think it's a her, if we kidnap her or murder her, we can actually free the city, believe it or not. They have massive patrols going around. Ooh, look at that. A noble bastard. You gotta be careful, because, like, <laughs> the United Cities guards are no joke. They're, like, on par with me when it comes to combat ability. Yeah, you see, the economy's not that great. Look, they've got some very poor weaponry here. Very poor selection as well. Not a lot of weapons on this place. So it, it is pretty much, like, a pretty poor city. Your face offends the nobility. Yeah, see? A rough place out here in the United Cities. But, yeah, I really think we can pretty much, like, topple over this city very easily we just uh we can't do it on our own we're gonna need a crew a crew of like-minded individuals who are all striving to become the strongest people in kenshi i wonder where i would find people like that some martial artists some thieves well i guess you'll see in the next few episodes but yeah king has definitely like crushed it man like this this man has become strong as hell look at him look at him and tell me that this guy is not radiating just gangster energy like oh my god so yeah uh king's story is gonna have to uh, take a pause here uh we'll come back pretty soon hopefully once some other characters are developed Again, this is a storyline being brewed up here. And yeah, he, he has definitely become an OP swordsman for sure. Especially with that weapon that he found, that sword. Sheesh! So yeah, once again, hope you enjoyed the, the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you guys very soon. Much love. Bye-bye.